surprised at all. That's the first thing out of my mouth. I said he went back for Dakota. A Muskogee man killed in an early morning fire while trying to save his dog. His siblings say his pets were family to him. Tonight, 2 News reporter Joe Hinkey is live in Muskogee with more on the life of Malcolm Moore, a man his family says helped anyone in need. Joe? Well, when the fire started this morning, he first made sure his wife and two kids got out safely. I'm then told he went into his house behind me to save his dog. Tonight, I found out 45-year-old Malcolm Moore uh, helped so many people during his life. And tonight, or uh, excuse me, this morning, he was just trying to help once again. As the smoke continues to settle tonight, a Muskogee family is sharing the story of Malcolm Moore. There was nothing wrong except his heart. That's the only bad part about him. And it wasn't because it wasn't in the right place, it's because it just didn't work right. With heart problems most of his life, he kept on living thanks to a pacemaker. Just one of the challenges he faced since childhood. See, it can be hard to stand out in a family with 12 kids where you're called by your number growing up instead of your name. So he, coming down from the top, he was number eight. He's number eight. He was number eight. But Malcolm found a way to be so much more than a number. There's just nobody like him that I've ever known other than my mom and dad. Refusing help, Malcolm spent six years building a new home for his wife and two sons, planning to live off their land and beaming with pride, they moved in about a week ago, his brother says. Just trying to be a mini farmer out here. Yeah. And uh, trying to live his life. Living his life as a helping hand in Muskogee, a Boy Scout leader and constant volunteer. After 45 years, Malcolm is leaving behind a legacy. He was just well known. There wasn't anybody he didn't help. I don't think there's a family in this town that can say he didn't touch them somehow. And moving on without Malcolm, number eight, a number none of them will forget. There's no replacing them. Some sons receive second and third degree burns. I'm told by family he'll have surgery tomorrow. His wife also sustained second degree burns. His second son somehow got out of the fire uninjured. Reporting live in Muskogee tonight, Joe Henke, 2 News, works for you.